Yo. Uh, you lit it in the car or some shit? The front yard. You're ridiculous. Yeah, Don, good morning. Warning. So I decided outreach for this flag shirt, <coughs> both flag shirts is crazy, that we should just go ahead and put it up now as a pre-order and then we'll just drop it at 8 a.m. Yeah. Because if we get everything in by eight, it can all be printed tomorrow. I just got off the phone. Yeah, a little Jack Flash this morning. Mm. Dude, I woke up feeling crazy. Like my jaw was all tight and I could like turn my neck. And then I took a shower, everything. Mm. I ordered 60 bottles of tattooing yesterday. Mm. Let's go, it's rib time, dog. Did you order any of that numbing shit? <laughs> no. I'll go get some. This was like at the very low end of this thing. I always wonder, like those old Scantron sheets, they always used to say like you have to fill in with a number two pencil. Like what if you filled it in with a number three? It's not gonna fucking blank out the answers when they run it through the machine. It's the Thermofax machine. The same thing happens when you draw a tattoo in the wrong pencil and you try to run it in the Thermofax oh, and it doesn't so pick it up. Know. It only picks up. What is it, a different amount of lead in those numbers? I want to know. Is that. there even a number three pencil? Is that oh, thing? yeah, dude. They're those thicker ones. I'll show you right now. Number three. Oh. Well, then maybe it does pick up the other leads, but I know there are like you certain inks that won't pick up. Of oh. course, pencil manufacturers make number one, two, three, four pencils and sometimes intermediate numbers. So there's hardness and blackness. Basically, there's more graphite in different numbers, so that shit makes it blacker. But the three is actually darker than a number two. Maybe three would work on the Scantron. They were just afraid you might pull out a number one pencil. Maybe, it was, maybe the rules were, rules were made before <coughs> the three ever came out. I wonder if they did it like that in Generations. They released the different... We now have the number seven the pencil. Was hyped up. Mm -hmm. Kids were going to school and they were all stoked. They are like, dude, we get to use the number two today. First day ever. Like, class, welcome, welcome, welcome. That's Located inside of your desk, you will find within a satin sh... The first ever... Number two, I present to you. It's funny that I'm talking about number two pencils and I'm wearing mostly fucking bright yellow. I'm a number two pencil. My blue is just one of those little grips on the end of it. This is how we're gonna start the days now, dude. Because <laughs> it should be. <laughs> fucking fat joints. Well, I don't know if we need to smoke these whole big ones every day, but I'm cool with it. As long as we get work done. It's easy. Hold on, we're supposed to have a phone call this morning. Oh shit, with uh... Just curious as to what ha I'm just, basically what you're telling me is all I'm curious about. I'm just curious about how you guys operate. But also I'd like to do something too where people are, you know, there's like a reason for them to be hyped about getting a, the different paint, you know, like, yeah, justifies the price or whatever, yeah. Okay, cool, and then maybe when we do that, maybe when we do the pant, do like a a t-shirt and a hoodie or something and have it be like a whole collab for like okay cool well let me just i guess figure out number wise what we need to do talk to an embroiderer today and then i'll be in touch by thursday God, these people are so stupid. These fucking like theories all the time that StockX is fucking manipulating the market prices and shit. StockX is buying up all the stock. They'll drop the price and buy all the stock and then rate. They think they're they think that they're literally in running fucking sneakers. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? Know what's wrong with people is they sit around and they look at their fucking computer for too long. There's fucking restock monitors going off left and fucking right, and all they fucking do is like think about projected money. You ever hear the yeah. saying fucking don't count your chicken before their hat. Stop fucking reselling your shoes in your brain before they even fucking release. What the fuck are you people doing? And then I gotta read tweets like this. Like, motherfuckers have full on theories, dog. Shout out to Band LA. Like, I love homie at Band LA, yeah. but that fucking Facebook shit is toxic, bro. Like, whoever this fucking idiot is is just crazy to me. Jesus fucking Christ. I love it. Fucking dipshits. Like, why would... That's what they do. Like, hey, you know, here's the real master plan. You know, I know we have fucking billions of dollars and shit. Here's what we're really gonna do. We're gonna fucking... We're gonna take all this resale money. We're gonna get the fee and we're gonna get... We're gonna drop the price down. How about this? How about the reality that no one gives a fuck about a shoe a week after it comes out? It's flavor of the fucking week out here. It's Basket and Robbins Boulevard. Motherfuckers are wearing what's hot for the week and yeah. then that's it. They don't yeah. care. They need the fucking the newest flex. Everybody needs the newest shit for their Instagram post. God forbid you post a shoe that came out fucking three months ago. Yeah. God forbid it's not the newest hot shit. Fucking eat a bag of dicks. This shit is so fucking whack, dude. I love it. 
People are waiting on something else. Like, all right, now motherfuckers are like, all right, I ain't spending the fucking, the sauce is gone, dog. It's like being a hot girl in high school and rejecting everybody. Oh, I don't want to hold out, I don't want to hold out. Oh, now nobody gives a fuck, homie. We're putting out another shoe tomorrow. And the next week, we're going to put out another shoe. And the next week, we're going to put out another fucking shoe. And it's yeah. going to keep going until we stop fucking breathing. So just tell the shit for the profit that you do get and enjoy it. Shut the fuck up on the internet. Like, use the internet for something better. Do something for yourself. He's got to be worth something. It's like everybody that finds a shiny fucking object in the sand picks it up and goes this has got to be worth something half the time it's not and if it is it's only worth something for a little while to a certain amount of people you ever watch pawn stars rest in peace old man you know what i'm saying like motherfuckers got yeah. shit that's worth twenty thousand. they're like i'll give you four dollars for it you know why yeah because gamestop exists you know why i'm gonna try and call customer service the thing that sucks is it's these fucking sixty dollar nmds i don't think white. that's the sales that's where the white nmds are headed for those of you just joining us, we've been scammed. Penny's no, we have. The fuck? What? Tell them to hurry up. <laughs> what? 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 What the fuck is going on? This shit is tripping. Go out there. What you got? What you got? Go get a toy. They're everywhere, so it shouldn't be hard to find one. What are these mushrooms? You doing shrooms? <laughs> right back inside. It's muddy, dude. I don't want to be out in the mud. It's gonna rain and shit, dude. You need to tip, sir. I asked my pants. I asked my pants. Someone on the internet's gonna say you don't have any boundaries. What are you fucking pointing? What are you biting on? What are you biting on, sir? Who lay that ass down? Who lay that ass down? What you got? What you got, son? You wanna find out today? You wanna find out today? Run it, then. Run that shit, boy. Yeah. You ain't jumping in. You ain't jumping, you got slobber on my pants though. Huh. You what? Look at that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I gotta need the crap. God damn. So crispy down here. That fuck up off me. Hey! Get out of here. <laughs> Ooh! Shit! Get out of here! Get out of here! Stop going after shoes, you fuck. <laughs> Oh, now what? The door's not even open. Get out there. Oh, well, he's back. Dude, he's wilding today. Look at him. Get off of me. Dude. Nah, they're down at the bottom. They gotta be. I know you had to move something oh. to see it, but yeah, it's there. I've been a snake at a fucking bitch, you boy. Shit. The drop is up. We're done. Why are we doing the same work in the different room? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, so I'm picking up Teddy. I left him. Here he is. I, uh, I completely pulled away and I missed him. And I'm dying, but he, I don't think he's going to think it's as funny. So um, I, I'm recording... <laughs> Here he comes, I can't even deal. Oh my god. And now I still have to get to where we're going, which I have no idea where that is either. I, I really... <laughs> Who the fuck? Sends directions. Who sends directions and then pulls off? I'm wearing bright fucking yellow. <laughs> I literally have my hand almost to your door and you pull off. I'm like, he's fucking kidding, right? And then I see you take off down the fucking street. I'm glad you think this is so fucking funny. I then I got a guy talking to me about my shoes. Like, hey man, nice shoe. I'm then I watch you, I'm like, he's waiting up. So you literally sent me a text and told me to come somewhere and left. That came to me. That was supposed to send earlier. And then a dude came up to the car and was like, you gotta move. I so saw no dude. I just saw you. I'm like, oh, there he is. Cool. I crossed the street. I fucking walk up to the car and you just pull off. I'm like, I literally ran around down the, because then you sat at a red light. So I ran to the red light. As soon as I get to you, you turn right. And the next light turns yellow and you blow through it. So I can't catch you. It was like, I just ran a block and a half for no fucking reason.
<laughs> I'm laughing because I didn't see any of it. I'm dying because I just picture you chasing the car and I'm just in my own world. I have no idea. I didn't see you anywhere. Woo! That was great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Like, damn, like some guy who's like not into, he literally is like my shoes. He's like, damn, he's like, them shits are fire. Where'd you get those? I'm like, they're Gosher, Adidas. They're like from Europe, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, where can I find them? Like, Europe. You can type in Gosher and Adidas on Google. I'm sure it'll come up. So how they fit. I'm like, what the fuck is happening right now? He's like, it's like the glove. I'm like, no, it's like a sock. He's like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Maybe he just meant, do they fit like a He's like, I'm going to find them shits. He's like, those shits is hot. You play ball on those? No, I do not. What kind of ball? Yeah. I play basketball on the trail. Trail ball. Yeah. Look at trail ball out here. Trail ball. This kind of sounds like yeah. you're not wearing any underwear. Or maybe, <laughs> like there's a hole in your pants and you're not wearing any underwear. You're trying to have trail ball. Hey, man. Trail hey, man. Balling. Free balling is so 1999, bro. Yeah. You gotta go trail ball and let them know what you're working with. What's going on up here? What? Where? I don't know. Uh, it seems that I'm in the wrong lane. <laughs> Imagine that. This goes wide, me. Pons. Oh, y'all are cranking in here today. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks so much, as always. Yeah. All right, haircut is done. We must Uber home, beat rush hour traffic, hopefully. Hey. Like, I think I'm grinding my teeth when I sleep because my jaw today has just been off. So I'm home, I've got to make a salad. I'm fucking starving to death. Uh, but yeah, most of today is spent organizing for the future. We have a lot of changes coming up if you guys haven't seen. Today is the last drop technically that me and Sega are releasing together. Drop was supposed to honestly get canceled, but felt like it was important to do. It's the Happy Pride shirt for Pride Month. And then there's the 4th of July Cry shirt, which is for the 4th of July. Some people are concerned about shipping we're doing our very best. There's a ton of orders with mystery bags. We're prioritizing, doing double the work basically right now to get this all done. And everything should be shipped out by this week. And those, so basically long story short, you'll have, you should have the shirts before 4th of July. Cause I know a lot of people are going to want to wear it for the 4th. You should absolutely have it. We're, we're doing our very best to get that shit out the door. Also setting up stuff for the podcast. I'm just going to sit on this table so I'm not just standing here. Also setting up stuff for the podcast. We have stuff to figure out there. Restructuring day to day. Life figuring out. We just have a lot of stuff to figure out. I'm just, I sound like a broken record. Is there anything else I need to update you on? No more drops for a little bit. This is a hiatus for me. I'm not taking a break from the vlog or anything. I'm not taking a break from designing. I just need time to catch up and I need time to formulate my ideas into the capacity that I feel they are capable of. Stuff like that. Um, so the Climacool did get uncaged, but I only did one pair and I actually, I did that one kind of fast and was like rushing through it. This one, it honestly won't even take that long. Okay, so un uncaged the other one, here's this one. Really, it's super easy. You just want to unlace the shoe first that's not unlacing easily oh my god it's like double knotted all right cool oh my i literally never tie my shoes how is this double knotted all right laces are out and then cutting the cage off pretty easy i think it's kind of self-explanatory but we'll do it anyway there's just one stitch line that goes down this seam and you essentially just need to cut it it's with a sharp blade it's really easy because all you have to do is create a little bit of tension and kind of just drag along you know basically cut against the cage and not the knit so that you don't cut the knit and you may see little strands those are usually just the it's just the yarn that you need to pull out if you go pretty slow you shouldn't have really any issues with this if you go fast you probably cut the knit i don't know if you can see that little sprigs in there those will pull right out because that's just yarn and then sometimes it won't come off until you cut the whole cage so i would just cut the whole thing so Down here it gets a little bit trickier because you start to come down into the sole. So you want to be careful because there's one little piece that's not on the last one I cut that wasn't connected to the cage and it made like a tiny little hole in it. It doesn't bother me, but if you're like super crazy about it, it's probably going to bother you. This almost looks like the same piece. All right, so that's done. Now you got this floppy cage. And I guess you could cut this too on the front side of the cage. The seam is in here, so I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you could just slice across this seam and probably have it come right out. Multiple techniques to this destruction. And some would call destruction, some would call improvement. I think that the cage on this, I like it. It's cool that it's all climbed out. It's still robust though. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really do that much to do it the other way either. Cuts it, but you still gotta come up in here. Makes it a little easier though. 
scoring. They call that scoring in the biz, I think. Not like scoring a goal. Your old boost wings. Uh, the main thing that you're gonna notice is that this goes underneath the knit. The cage literally sits underneath the knit, so there is a little gap. There's gonna be a gap. There's really not shit you can do about it. I've seen some people glue it down. Uh, you could do that if you want. It just doesn't bother me. When my foot's in the shoe, it's whatever. So with this, all you really wanna do is cut the cage off, which is all fabric, which is a little different. Kinda tried to get underneath it to create less uh, excess. I'm gonna just cut along the loose. Um, and you can also use like a little piece of cardboard if you aren't precise so you don't want to cut back into the knit. I don't really not worry about it too much. Uh, so that's a really rough cut and it will use the excess. It's just easier for me to take that rough cut and then uh, just clean it up because I can just get in there and clean that shit up. So. And you'll see like some of the fabric may even be glued to the boost. You might have to shave it. You should be able to do it pretty easily with a nice razor. Yeah, so you can kind of... I haven't cleaned all this up yet, but you can kind of see the little gap that you get, but no holes. And then you can even see a little piece of boost that's exposed, but yeah, people sometimes will just glue that. I don't really think it matters. Once your foot's in there, it's whatever. And then you just kind of go in here and shave that off. And that's what they look like. Uh, they're not perfect yet. I guess still gotta go in there and like clean it up, but that's what they look like. Which the only real reason I did this was to see if I liked it with the climb holes, and I do, like a new one cage that we never got. So I like it. I'm not going to do it to a bunch of pairs, but I did it to one, and who knows what happens with this. I may end up doing more shit. It may be my little practice pair for painting. I don't really know. No plan. That's my day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Love you. Up on lip gloss, look at how I Rick Ross Spinning out that hip cross, she getting down when I hit y'all Buck what's with a unknown, love lust with a dead tone And my headphones with my head gone